Well, but again, that's a tough shot. That's a runner from the free throw line. Isolation, smart with Mills. Now Horford will enter the area. Drummond extends out on him defensively. Brown, the roller is Williams, and he puts it down hard. Time Lord with another dunk. Trying to switch, but they get a miscommunication, and Williams gets the dunk. Smart knocked it up in the air. Mills, the bullet feed, and Brown hits on the high archer. Brown couldn't catch it initially, but recovers for the deuce. I really like the pace. They are 13-1 and in their last 14 games with Marcus Smart in the lineup. They lead at 71-54. Brown, kick out. Johnson. Celtics are very comfortable with that happening. And Drummond gets inside for the offensive rebound. And for didn't bite. Second block for Al Horford. Smart drive and kick. Brown, open luck. He overcooked it. Rebound tapped over to Smart. Razzle dazzle behind the back. Bullet feed. Extra. Horford. Highlight. Boston. Great ball movement, but this was all created. 14 and 15 on the road. They're 20 and 11 at home. Curry, that baseline delivery, put it on the board. They're 14 and 15 on the road. Nice. They also had a propensity of blowing leads early in the season. They have 14, or make that 13 blown fourth quarter lead, second most in the league behind Indiana, but that hasn't been an issue of late. Smart, corner jump, splash. Marcus Smart is locked and loaded. Celtics have extended the lead, trying to add to it here. Tatum using the Horford screen behind the back. Horford pick and pop. No. And a rebound controlled by the Celtics. Tatum pulls the trigger, hits the three. Timeout nets. And offensive rebounders are huge. Curry with a clean look. Splash for Seth Curry. Patty Mills having a rough night, and with everybody out when you're short-handed. When you have one of your shooters having a rough night, it really gets tough. Jalen Brown cans it from the outside. He really too strong. Curry, pull up. Yes, a three. Well, that's what you have to do. There's two ways to beat this. Curry looking for a screen from Drummond. Switch out front. Curry, that's a deep one. Off the rim, no. Halfway point of the third quarter, Celtics lead at 81-63, and a foul is called. Curry ended up on the floor. It'll work against Brooklyn. Possible chance True. of getting into the top six because Boston and Toronto are both very good teams. Corner, Williams missed it from three-point territory. Much improved offensive player this season, Grant Williams, 45% from downtown. Getting into a set here with Curry. The pull-up pop is good. You know, everybody talks about the Nets and Simmons, Simmons, Simmons. But Seth Curry brings them a lot more shooting, which they needed. And they needed rebounding help, and they got the best rebounder in the league in Drummond. Jalen Brown rims out, and a foul is called. 5-21 mark of the third quarter. The NBA on TNT is brought to you by Audi and the all-new fully electric Q4 e-tron. And by TikTok. You have to see it. Foul called on Cam Thomas. One of the other additions will be Goran Dragic in his 13th year in the NBA. What do you think he's going to bring to the table for Steve Nash and company? Well, he's another guy that can really play off the dribble and create shots for himself and his teammates. Look, just a year ago in Miami, he was still averaging over 13 points and four assists coming off the bench. He gives them a legitimate point guard. So with he, Simmons, and Irving, they've got three guys that can man that position. Let's get more from Stephanie. Guys, I asked Steve Nash specifically about his relationship now that he's coaching Goran instead of playing with him. He said he is the best. They have a great relationship. He's thrilled to be able to coach him. But what he wants his players to see and they're starting to understand is that his motives are pure. He just wants to help them win basketball games any way as possible. He doesn't care about individual accolades, and he thinks that he's going to make a great addition to this Nets team. And a big reason why Goran Dragic is here is because of Steve Nash. Aldridge gets the floater to go after the Derek White acceleration for two. 84-67 Boston. White discard. Missed it with the left hand. 
And a foul is called on Kessler Edwards. Drogic and Nash going back to the Phoenix Suns days. It's teammates, even though on that second picture on the right, it looks like Steve is coaching them there. They were preparing for their roles later on in life. Steve, very excited to have Goron on the squad, as Stephanie mentioned. And you know, he just said his spirit, what he's going to bring on the floor, he believes will be evident, but also what he brings behind the scenes, the positivity and the selfless nature that he carries himself with. Absolutely, and look, we're seeing this Nets team struggle lately with all of the injuries, but when they're whole, I don't think there's any question that they're the most talented team in the Eastern Conference. Now, will they have enough time together to bring it together? Will they defend well enough? I'm not saying that they should be the favorites to win it, but they're the most talented team in the East. They are 7-16 and 16 without Kevin Durant this season. This is a potential starting lineup. Irving, seven-time All-Star. Curry, the three-point shooting prowess. Kevin Durant, one of the best NBA players out there. Ben Simmons, a three-time All-Star. Drummond, a two-time All-Star. The miss by Johnson. He tried to crank it. Kick well, it out for Curry. Again, off the bench, you could potentially have Patty Mills, Joe Harris, LaMarcus Aldridge. I mean, this team is super talented. Aldridge is hit. A 